Hi, in this video we're going to be going over the Stellar Converter for OST file software and what that'll do is it'll let you convert a OST Outlook file into a PST file and that way you could import it into a, another copy of Outlook and that kind of thing. Uh, so before we get started on that, I just want to have a little discussion about the difference between a PST and an OST file, so I have this document here. So, right, so PST files, um, these are you know, older versions of Outlook files that you're probably used to using in, in 2013 and older. So they contain your messages and other Outlook items and are, and are saved on your computer, such as in a pop, just like a pop account, uh, used in Outlook 2013. Um, and IMAP accounts also used PST files back then. Then starting with Outlook 2016 in Office 365, they started using OST files. So OST files, out, offline Outlook data files, uh, they are used to store a synchronized copy of your mailbox information on your local computer and then when your connection to the mail server is interrupted you can still access all emails, calendar data, contacts, and tasks that have been previously downloaded. You can read and compose messages, create appointments, and add contacts. However, your email messages won't be sent and no new messages will be downloaded until your internet connection is restored. So once you reconnect to the server then everything you've done will kind of synchronize and you'll be back in business. So let's say you have an OST file and you want to convert it to a PST file. I'm going to show you how to do that with the software. So I have their website open here. So OST to PST converted software. So it's a free download. You could do the demo and then you, you, know, you could buy it if you like it and you want to actually use it. Um, so here's some of the features here. You know, converts large OST to PST files. No file size limitation. You could even convert corrupted and encrypted OST files to PST files. And here's converts OST to PST for Outlook 2019 and earlier versions as well. So once you download that, you just simply install like you would any other program. So I already have that done here. So here's the software right there. And then here I have my Outlook open right here. So we're going to import a PST. Or actually, we're going to convert an OST file and then import it into this Outlook. So let's open up the software. So when you open it, it, it'll actually show you on this default location, here's the OST file that I have in this copy of Outlook right now. And we're not going to convert this one. We're going to take a different OST file, convert it, and then import it into Outlook. So this just shows you your default um, OST file that you have within your current version of Outlook that you're running. And so what we're going to do is choose location, and we're going to browse to the OST file that we have. And that's here on our desktop, the sample file. We're going to double or click that or double click it. Click on open. And then we're going to click on the convert button and let it do its thing here. Okay, so it says the file is completed and it'll kind of give you an outlook kind of view to your email with your. Uh, folders and that kind of thing, calendar contacts, uh, junk mail, even that. So here's a couple of junk mail samples here from this gauge user here. And then also you have a, you know, a find feature if you want to search for certain things. And if you want to save the scan, let's say you want to come back to it later, you could save it as a scan, then come back later into the program, load it, and continue on from there. And so there's other options here, you know, if you want to select, save from the, from the file menu, you've got your view menu, if you want to change the views, look at the logs, updates, if you want to go to your calendar, activation, if you need to activate the software to uh, get the full functionality and so on. Okay, so we have our OST file loaded here, so we're going to save the converted file. So the catch is you have to have Outlook closed. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll click on Save Convert File again. Now you have some choices here. PST, MSG Email, RTF, HTML, PDF. So obviously we want the PST because we're going to import it into Outlook. And if you don't want the deleted items to be converted, you could check this box. Let's say you have a ton of deleted items and you don't care about them. You could check that box and choose the path. We're going to go ahead and just put it on the desktop. Click OK. Okay. 
Okay, so it tells us that the file was saved at this location, and there's the size. So now we'll go ahead and check that out. So here's our sample converted PST file, and you can name it whatever you want. You don't have to leave it called sample if you choose. So we're going to rename this. Let's see. Uh, we'll call it other email. Okay, so now we're going to go back into Outlook. All right, so from here, to import the PST file, we're going to go to the File menu, and then we want to go to Open and Export, and we want to open a data file, Outlook data file, PST. Browse to the location, which is on our desktop. Here's our other email file. We'll open that. And if we minimize this, and here's our Stellar Converter for OST sample file. And what you want to do is go to the top of the Outlook data file right here, and this will show you all the emails. So like, for example, the junk email, there's those two gauge emails that I showed you when we're looking in the software itself. And you got your inbox, got your drafts, your deleted items, lost and found, outbox, and all that other good stuff. So it's pretty simple to use. So like I said, once you do, you, you uh, download it. Just install it, and then you go ahead and run it, and just uh, select an OST file, choose location, browse to it, and then you'll convert it. And then once it's converted, just be sure to save the converted file, otherwise you're not going to have your PST. And then go into Outlook, go to File, open an export, open the PST file, and then you should be good to go. Pretty simple. It works, works fairly well. So give it a shot for yourself and see if it'll do the job for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.